2023 was a good year for Colts Neck, uh, despite our national inflation and the rising cost of living law, but our municipal tax remained at zero. Yes, zero. Uh, our property values were up, our revenue were up, which means we were in great shape for 2024. We received grants to pave our roads, purchase body armor for our police officers, and purchase over farms 235 plus acres that abuts uh, Naval Wake Station Earl. With the generous help of 3.5 million from the Monmouth County, they stepped up to help us on that, and thank you so much. <laughs> and the U.S. Navy also uh, contributed $3 million, so uh, we thank them also. We also purchased a made of property, 28.81 acres, and that is adjacent uh, to the farm, uh, to the Five Points Ports uh, Complex. Uh, so this year we uh, added over 300 acres to our open space and farmland preservation. This year, um, we, uh, as Mike had mentioned, we uh, updated the Larry uh, Road Complex to tennis courts. We totally renovated all of them to tennis courts uh, with an overlay for or pickleball courts. Um, again, that was with the help of Monmouth County along with the grant for the much needed bathrooms at the Five Points Park. So we owe a lot to the county and we thank them very much for helping us out. Um, but our year is not about finance. Uh, it's about honoring our residents, young and older, our women leaders and volunteers in March for Women's History Month, <coughs> celebrating the awards for our sports teams and individuals, applauding our Eagle Scouts and their contributions, recognizing our hometown hero, Joe Klecko, for his Pro Football Hall of Fame induction, and coming together as a community for an interfaith service after the tragedy in Israel, and thanking all of those for their service. We hired a new code enforcement, enforcement officer, Antonio Cordoso, who's doing an excellent job He's getting the department in shape and helping to analyze our codes and making and implementing suggestions to make it more efficient. We finally said goodbye to Tom Hennessy, who was such an integral part of our community, a past mayor and director of uh, recreation and parks. We hired Colby Marcus, and I think I saw him here today also, as the new director of recreation, which I'm sure will be doing uh, a terrific job and a great addition to our community. Under the direction of Lou Bader, as Mike already mentioned, our Director of Public Works, we have a well-oiled machine, literally and figuratively, DPW. <laughs> our town has never looked better. Maintaining the gym of Monmouth County is not an easy task with 110 miles of road. But brush and leaf pickup this year was seamless and on time. And we even instituted a last leaf pickup because the leaves fell so late this year uh, we decided that we needed to do an extra pickup, and so all you had to do was call in, sign up, and they would come and get your leaves. <clears throat> there was also a cleanup day pickup for our senior citizens and those with disabilities. Uh, we always have a cleanup day, and usually have to go to Mazza to drop off your stuff, but this year, and in few, uh, past years, we had that special pickup, and again, all you had to do was call and get your name on the list. Speaking of which, I just want to remind you that the Christmas trees are due at your curbside this weekend <laughs> or Monday, so don't forget. It's a one-time pickup, so we're doing the whole town in one day. That brings me to our beautiful new municipal building. We happily moved in mid-May of this year with our police, while our police department was able to move in in late September. I want to thank, thank Chief Santucci and the department, the entire CMPPA, for diligent, <coughs> for diligent diligently to receive accreditation and to successfully meet all the requirements for establishing residence in this new building. I also want to thank our first aid volunteers for their patience in this transition and for loaning their building to the CMP Day. Our job as a township committee is to preserve our community and to plan for the future, which is what we have done and we will continue to do. It's been my honor to serve as mayor. I thank the residents for their support and my fellow Township Committee members for their encouragement and for all they do for Colts Neck. I also want to thank our staff. I had the opportunity to get to know everyone on a more personal basis as I had office hours here, Tuesdays and Thursdays every week. And I know that we're fortunate to have such great people taking care of our town. From our hardworking Kathleen Administrator, uh, Kat, our Administrator Kathleen Capistro, and to our Finance Department and all in between. 
I especially want to thank um, my family, and especially my daughter, Megan, who's here. She's my biggest cheerleader. And my husband, Jim, for always being there to lend a hand and for his patience when my time is needed and required elsewhere. I wish all of you a healthy and prosperous 2024. I ask God to continue to bless our fair town and to watch over our great nation.